Well, as I was saying before, with Run Baby Run, for instance, it had to do with a family in crisis, and it had the backdrop of drugs. And around that time, it was a very topical issue because there was lots of newspaper reports about drug mules and smuggling and all that kind of stuff. So we found it quite relevant to have a story that deals with young people and drugs and trying to smuggle in. Because it's part about entertainment and it's part about teaching. Yeah, because we've always, at Revolve, we've always believed that those two don't have to be mutually exclusive. You can, you can have something that's meaningful, that actually has a message, as well as being entertaining. And that's what we've always endeavoured to, to, to do. With this one, it's still about different families in crisis. But instead of having drugs as a backdrop, it has to do with oil in the background. Um, there's stories about ethnicity, racism, um, colonialism. Don't start with a title. It's for now, it's a working title yeah. Yeah, called Elmina. Elmina. Yes. Yeah. And it's set in the western region, in yeah. the western and central region um, of Ghana. So it has to do with lots of issues to do with colonialism to do with greed, hatred, betrayal, love, and the usual ingredients, but it's a very topical issue. Anyone who's ever loved African stories that we read when we were growing up, I used to read a lot of pace setters when I was growing up, but if you've read a lot of Shoinkas and Achibis and um, Ayikwe Ama and um, Ata Edu and um, um, Amu Jo... Yeah, I haven't read that one, but... No, I've been, I've been never read that. So but I've been the same as this artist in this way. For Run Baby Run. Oh no, 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 no. Like basically all with, all the time when we we're trying to when we we're trying to shoot something, we try to get the best actors or actresses for particular roles. So like initially when we're when we're doing the roles, I I, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to play a role or not. Because we have to have it structured in such a way that when the producers think that these are the characters we're looking for. I revolt, everyone still has to audition. I still have to audition for a role if I think that this is a role that I think is most appropriate for me. And we always have a short list of people who go for the roles who audition for it. So nothing is cut, it's, it's cut in stone. Um, we have about three or four people for every role and we audition and cut it down to who we think is extremely particular for that role. It doesn't have to do with who we think is a better actor or actress. Obviously, we want the best. So casting is not done yet? Oh, casting is completed. Yeah. So who are some of the members of the cast? Um, we have Kofi Buckner. Um, we have um, Akofa. Um, we have um, Amakea Bebrese. Um, I'm in it myself. Um, Kojo Datsin is in it. Redeem um, Amensa is in it. Um, I think we have a few cameos from a um, few known celebrities. That we have keep nothing. No, Edinate is not in it. Yeah, yeah. Edinate is who not wrote, Who wrote the story? Um, it's written by Manuel and myself. Um, who else is in it? Right? Yeah. Your senior. yeah, my senior brother, who is who will be directing it. Who um, actress? <laughs> oh that oh yeah, yeah, I was gonna I was gonna bring that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well we had some people who've just flown in from the UK and we just picked them up from the airport before we came in. They're actually sitting in here. I'll bring them okay. up. But what is very interesting about this project and um, is that it's, it's in collaboration with the Tate Gallery in the UK. Um, I don't know if you're, you know the Tate, Tate Modern. Um, basically, it's, it's, like, it's like the place. And that's where this film will be. One of the places will be premiering. Obviously, it will be premiering in Ghana. But in the UK, it's premiering in the Tates. And we have a stills photographer from the Tate who's actually come down to take behind the scenes footage. So this so, is actually a movie, not a yes, it's a movie. Oh no, it's a movie. But then, what is it? The Tate Gallery is one of the biggest art galleries in the whole world. Um, for our movie alone, I think guaranteed 75,000 people to come and view it. So again, at River, we're not interested in doing anything just for this market. Yeah. We're looking at taking, putting Ghana on the map always when it comes to anything. <coughs> For the Tate Gallery to view, to, to actually showcase this movie in October of this year, and so we're going to have a makeshift cinema, Ghanaian style cinema, built at the Tate Gallery. And if you know the Tate Gallery, you know that this is really a big step for us because um, we have um, all the greatest who things. Art, yeah. And these are yeah. people who, you know, 
are made it in life. I mean, people who appreciate art and can come in and buy a painting for like a million dollars or a million pounds. These are the sort of people that are going to be walking in there to come and see the movie. So, again, we, 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 we have to challenge ourselves because we're going to put Ghana, you know, our best foot forward. It's not just for this market, it's for we're, we're going to be basically showcasing Ghana out there for the world to see. So, you know, we're just talking about, you know, as showcasing there and you know that should tell you how much we want to put into this project because we don't want to just do any movie uh, the movie of course has to showcase our cultural um, heritage yeah. her cultural heritage of Ghana we've got to show Ghana in the light that would be um, that, that would uh, differentiate us from every other country it's not about us showing just modern Ghana we were, we, were, we were to show Ghana for what it stands for in terms of our culture, our heritage, our, our, our attire, anything costume, hair, the, 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 the cultures of our people. So it's a very uh, complex kind of a storyline you will find once you see it because we are going to try to show what Ghana is, is, is made of basically to the, to the world out there. Well, we don't want to give too much away no, now. Much away now. Hopefully, you guys are gonna come on set at some point and take pictures. But like that's why, like with a brief synopsis, it has to do with colonialism and fighting the system. Um, you know, if um, um, I, I don't know how many of you have read like Ayikwama, the beautiful ones are not yet born. You know, but it's about one man who tries to be an honest man. You know, and this is quite similar. It's about one person trying to fight the entire system which maybe the person sees as being corrupt, you know, and I think in many ways we can all identify with characters like that because usually everyone paints us with a very broad brush that all these people are corrupt or all these people are a particular way. But this story is about one person's struggle to try to retain what they think is theirs or what they, and in, in a way it's like about values. Sometimes there's a value that is very dear to you that you actually want to keep hold of and everyone else is doing something completely different but there's something you want to keep for yourself. All right. Without giving too much away, that's... All right, John, uh, Ghana Found Oil, how much of that informed the movie you're doing and what do you hope that Ghanaians will take of the movie in terms of our oil clients? <sighs> well, Ghana Found Oil, that's... Our, our, our stories have always to do, have to do, had to do with issues that we think are very important with, um, with the people that we care about, which is Ghanaians, and Africans, and if oil had not been found in Ghana, I'm sure we've gone on a completely diff different, different tangent. But when we see every place where oil has been found, there have always been problems. You know, oil is supposed to bring prosperity, and in some cases it has brought prosperity. But at the same time, oil has a different side. There's always a duality with oil that it, it can bring a lot of happiness and a lot of prosperity, which we hope this oil that we found brings. But at the same time, there's a, a darker side to oil sometimes. And when we are telling a story, we're just telling the truth. We're just telling the whole picture. It's not propaganda for anyone, do you know? So I would say that this story has been you know, is trying to showcase the darker side of oil. No. No, because we are not only showcasing the darker side of oil. We are showing, we're showing the side of everything. We're showing life. You know, because if you say we're just showing the darker side of oil. Well, 